Hi, I'm Kaden. Welcome back to my channel again. So the topic today, I'm going to sharing to you the word pre-infusion. So before we talk about uh, pre-infusion, let's try to understand the word from the meaning first. So pre-infuse. Infuse means when the coffee is saturated by water, this is called infusion. So pre-infusion means how you give the water before the coffee is fully saturated by water and extraction means after infusion the water are extracting all the coffee coming out so this is extraction okay so let's cooling down this and we go down to the coffee bar together yeah so welcome back to the channel yeah it's really hot in the roasting room so I feel uh, cool uh, in the coffee bar now so regarding on the topic today i think i'm going to like uh, having about three videos to show different comparison about flow rate profile pressure pre-infusion and pump pressure profile pre-infusion and we compare two of them in the last video and we see like uh, what is the strength and weakness for both system and also uh, this video, I hope to help you to understand about prevention, this trendy word like uh, for recently in the market. So before we start the to making coffee, if you have any question about the pressure in the coffee machine, yeah, please uh, go to the link above like uh, to check out my previous video talking about the pressure, how pressure build up in the coffee machine. Then you come back to this video and you can get more understanding. Okay, so come back to the pre-infusion. Pre-infusion is just a process like for extraction. No matter how pre-infusion will happen, whether you want it or not, it still happen. So if you have any machine, any coffee machine you have when you make espresso, pre-infusion still happen. It's just a process. It's not something like um, uh, you can have it or not have it. So most of the machine, in the market, the company selling you coffee machine, when they say like, oh, my machine have pre-infusion. This is just mean that their machine can control for this pre-infusion process. Don't get it wrong. So pre-infusion is no matter how it will happen. I'm talking about this just now upstairs. So it's just about the process, like how you give water before the coffee saturate. There's some machine you can control this process and some machine you cannot control. So no matter how, you are still doing pre-infusion, infusion and extraction. So when your machine cannot control, yeah, it will just happen automatic for the coffee machine that you have no control. The coffee pressure night bar and extraction just happen like that. You will have the pressure flow chart like this. So from the pre-infusion stage and it's go up to night bar during infusion stage. And when extraction stage happen, it start to decline. The pressure start to drop and your coffee start to extract. So this is the whole process. So pre-infusion, controlling pre-infusion means you can control this stage in the beginning. So you can slowly let the pre-infusion to, to saturate the coffee before the infusion is finished. So when you do this pre-infusion, you can prolong the process of the pre-infusion to make sure your coffee is fully saturated to prevent channeling. Yeah, the idea, pressure profile, in the beginning is to prevent channeling especially for specialty coffee with this uh, pre-infusion control you can have a different kind of profile you can like uh, have a very slow and long pre-infusion look like that uh, looing a long pre-infusion saturation and infusion and then extraction or oh, there's some people they want to have more control so after extraction is start so they want to low down the pressure and the flow so they will go down or some people want to keep the pressure for extraction they will let the pressure drop slowly so with the machine like this you can play a lot of profile but today i'm not going too deep to talking about all kind of profile i'm just going to show you the comparison like uh, what is the taste different of the same coffee if i do pre-infusion and not do pre-infusion and what do i get Okay, so let's begin to make the first coffee. 
with uh, everything normal. I don't make any flow profile. I just keep it as all the standard coffee machine do. Yeah, and before we start, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit, little bit knowledge about what is a flow rate pressure profile coffee machine. So in the market, uh, there is a few uh, common uh, machine using flow rate to control the pressure profile, which uh, this data uh, mina. And another one is Slayer. Slayer is using a needle valve to control the flow rate in the pre-infusion stage. And one more you can commonly find in the market is the Lelit Bianca. So Bianca is the E61, but they built in, they built the pedal. It's something like a needle valve. So you're controlling that pedal to, uh, to limit the amount of water go through your coffee. The definition of the flow rate uh, pressure profile machine is we adjusting the water, the flow, how many grams per second, how much water coming out to contact with your coffee and not changing the pressure of the pump. So we keep the pressure of the pump and we adjust the amount of the water. So this kind of uh, machine or system, we call it a flow rate pressure profile. Today, the coffee we are going to use is uh, the Honduras coffee for espresso. This is a Honduras Makala uh, by Project Origin. Today's recipe, uh, 16 gram in, 32 gram out. And yeah, let's start to grind the coffee. Yeah, as I said before, uh, this water, spray the water is to prevent the static because I'm doing to grind single dose. So I, I do hope all the coffee is coming out and no static to keep the coffee in the grinder. So you can use these tools to help you a little bit on the distribution to get it, uh, make it more even and also help you to break some clumps. Yep. So you can see the first drop of coffee is come out about four to five seconds, mean the pressure is go up to nine bar really quick. So this is without control of pre infusion. Yeah. And now the pressure slowly dropped to eight bar, and here is twenty gram, twenty six second. So I'm target for thirty seconds. Yeah, thirty one. 33 yep. So See this Thick crema Fresh roast coffee mm. Really bright acidity uh, Orange Pamelo yeah, a little bit like an orange peel in the end. Yeah, this Hodras coffee, I realized like um, it's better after we stock the green bean like for a while. When we buy this green bean, when it's really fresh, it's really grassy. But now I did not taste any grassiness from this uh, Honduras. Now it's really pleasant, enjoyable coffee. Yeah, it's really nice. So following after the orange peel finish, and following by the caramel, a uh, little bit nutty and caramel, yeah. Okay, so let's make the second shot. So second shot, I will control. I will base on the real-time pressure here, the live pressure on extraction, to see how much a pre-infusion means low flow rate, low flow water flow rate I want to give 
to pre-infuse the coffee before the infusion finish. So I will give a very slow flow in the beginning, around 2 gram per second, until the pressure starts to build up to 4 bar. Then I will push the flow rate, go back to normal, about uh, 7, 8 gram per second to do the extraction. And then let the pressure slowly decline. And let's see what is the difference yeah. if we control the pre-infusion stage. Okay, so let's start the coffee extraction. Yep, so we start the pre infusion. So now pressure slowly build up until 4 bar. I push, yeah, to 7 8 gram per second. And now from 8.5, 9 bar, they drop to 8 bar. Now almost 8.5, and we are almost get our target. Okay, it's a little bit faster. 29 seconds, 32 grams of coffee. Yep. So, look at this. Yeah, this is the coffee. We control the pre infusion stage. Mm. The acidity is still bright, but now the difference of these two coffee from the first one and the, this one we control for the pre infusion, I taste uh, is noticeable uh, higher sweetness than the first one without doing the control the pre-infusion so this one you get the citrus like orange lemon flavor is clearer more clearer than the first one and don't get me wrong i don't say the first coffee is not good the co first coffee is good but through pre-infusion other than prevent channeling we also help to get more even extraction and also get higher extraction for this pre-infusion function we can do from the machine. Mm. The next coffee, I'm going to show you like um, how if if we overdo the pre-infusion, we do a, with the low flow rate for very very long. And yeah, let's see what happened and how the coffee tastes like. Let's make this overdue pre-infusion, overdue control pre-infusion. I will keep the low profile for very long. Let's see how is the pressure here can build up. Oh, it's still rich. No, it's not rich naiba. Mean, yeah, the water already saturated and now we increase. We try to increase. Yeah, it cannot go up to Naiba. Okay. So, what happened to this shot? What happened just now is I keep a very long, low flow rate to do the pre-infusion until the infusion is finished, extraction is start, then I start to push the flow rate go higher to push the pressure but unfortunate the channel already opened the extraction already start so you push more water you also difficult to build the pressure back so the pressure will keep dropping and this is the coffee we have we have a very thin layer of crema but is the coffee taste bad mm, not necessary is the coffee not necessary taste bad somehow it can taste really good 
I don't know do you heard about like uh, recently there's a, a group of people they are doing six bar low pressure extraction and the coffee is taste yeah really good if you do it right this coffee the body is lighter lighter than previous two coffee and but but there's a something is better than that two coffee the body is really clean the clean here mean you don't taste any sandy texture it's really really clean in the coffee the body so what i can understand from this is when we do the very slow flow rate for the saturation the find is locked on their position in the coffee puck so when extraction start the fine is not moving too much so you get less fine in the cup of the coffee yeah in the comparison of the three shots we are making so what can we see the possibility if our machine uh, have the ability to adjust the flow rate to do the control the pre-infusion stage that we can go finer grind the coffee finer to let the water slowly saturate the coffee to get more extraction especially for the light rose coffee this is why like a specialty coffee uh, they need the better machine because most of the coffee bean they use are very high quality so the roaster don't want to duck roast and to destroy all the good flavor for this coffee so they will keep like medium to medium light roast and with a roast profile of the coffee bean like this we need to have some control in the coffee machine to get the good extraction for the flavor in the cup so we can grind finer and slow down the pressure of the extraction to let the coffee fully saturated and then we increase the pressure to get extraction to your cup so in the summary of the topic today yeah we know what is pre-infusion control with a flow rate machine and the purpose of this uh, pre-infusion control is to prevent channeling get even saturation more even extraction to increase more extraction than the traditional way of the coffee machine do and also if you can control the pre-infusion stage mean somehow you can use the very fresh roast coffee uh, to make espresso immediately because when you prolong this pre-infusion stage you allow the coffee the co2 to degas and you still can get quite decent coffee i not i not say the coffee is uh tastes like um uh, optimum and perfect but at least you can brew extract uh, fresh roast coffee with pre-infusion control so that is for today video if you have anything you want to ask more about uh, pre-infusion control yeah you can hashtag hi kaden under the comment of this video and i will answer your question please help me to like and subscribe this video and don't forget we have uh, two more videos coming up which I'm going to show you the difference of the pump pressure profile machine and the third video we are going to compare them both and see what is the pros and cons for the both systems yeah thank you for watching I will see you again next time